Hi, Colin. So this afternoon, we're going to talk about the principles of effective assessment. So basically, these are the elements that research tell us make for good, solid assessments. Every assessment needs to consider the following seven principles or practices of effective assessment. Number one, it has to be authentic. Uh, we know increasingly students learn best when the learning is solidly grounded in real life issues that they can connect to in a meaningful way. Secondly, your assessment task has got to be clear and specific. And while we think that's just common sense, it's sometimes harder to pull off than meets the eye, but it is something that our teachers are good at, clear and specific assessments. We also know that we've got to use a variety of assessment tools to understand learners well. So for any given learning, we've got to triangulate data and use a variety of tools. And if I may add a little note to this, I think this also speaks to the PYP's uh, choice, and choice can be important in providing varied assessments as well. So a choice of how the students can share their learning is a good thing. The next point is that it has to be developmentally appropriate. We can't ask three-year-olds to write an essay, for example, that simply doesn't make sense. So to find a, an assessment task that is appropriate for the age of the students and where they're at. What we're learning more and more is the interaction between learner and, learner and adult is that point at which either we can develop uh, learning and deeper learning or we've lost the learner. So collaboration is a really important next assessment practice. There's got to be an assessment relationship between adults and children. Sometimes between the children themselves, but that would be number six, the interactive portion, where if a, tasks, uh, if a task allows for interaction, that makes a really rich assessment task. And lastly, feeding back to feed forward. And we've gone over this before, but I'll mention it again. The whole purpose of assessments, or one of the purposes of assessment, is to give the opportunity for adult and student to feedback on that learning. And we do that so as we can design future learning, so as that we can feed forward.